Boxing Comedian Association with Box. So, Cal, your fight out in New York, supporting your brother. How much does this mean to the family? You know, your young brother's here in his second fight defending a WBC title. How crazy does that sound? No, it's good. Um, it's what he deserves. You know, he's put a lot of work in, Olympic champion. Um, so, this is the stage he deserves to box on, and um, I'm sure he'll look good on Saturday. What kind of advice do you give him? Obviously, it's only his second fight, but he's fighting on a huge stage, you know what I mean? Like, what, he's probably third or fourth last on on Madison Square Garden. What kind of advice do you give him as an older brother? Just relax, take his time, soak it all in, um, enjoy the experience. He's, he knows what he's doing, you know, um, he's a laid back guy, chill, and um, yeah, no, nothing, nothing really phases him. His boxing Olympic final, it doesn't get much bigger than that. It doesn't, man. What did you make of his debut at the O2? Yeah, it was a very good debut. Um, I'm going to say that, but it was a very good debut. Um, a tough opponent, never been stopped, and he just done what he needed to do and broke him down. And this opponent that he's fighting this weekend, do you know much about him? You know what, what's he going to bring to Cal, uh, Galal, and what can Galal show from his skill set? Because last time Randy showed, you know, his aggressive side, his power, a bit of everything. Yeah, yeah. Um, this kid, you know, his experience. He's had over 20 fights. Um, he's been around. He's been in with you know former world champions and some good kids. Um, so it'd it, it be it'd be um, a good test for Galal. See where he is. It's only his second fight. Another 10 rounder. Um, so yeah, I think it's a, I think it's the right fight, uh, right fight for him, and um, just to progress him nicely towards um, a world title shot. And how far do you think that is? Are we talking under 10 fights? I'd imagine so. Yeah. If it ain't, then yeah, there's a there's a problem. But yeah, he'll definitely do it under 10 points. The guys who are the champions, who do you realistically do you think that could you know Eddie could get him in with a world title? I'm not sure, you know, I'm not really, I don't really look into it. But you know, it's a it's a good division, some good champions, and um, yeah. But I think you know, in a few a couple of fights, a bit more experience, he'll be um, he'll be ready for them all. And last question on yourself. I was speaking to Callum Smith earlier. There's a loads of fighters in the UK that have just vanished over COVID. You're one of them. What is going on with your career? Um, I'll be back. I'll be back in the next couple of months. Next two months. I'll be back in June. Um, just sorting a few things out and making sure everything's right for me. And uh, yeah, I'll be back in June. And what weight will that be at? Uh, bantamweight. Well, I look forward to seeing it because obviously it'd be shame for you to go out because you. St I feel like you still got loads to give to the sport. No, no, no. I've I've been training for the last year since March last year. So after my last fight, I took a year out. Um, I come back in. I come back in, in full camp in March last year. So I've been training for a whole year. Um, I'm in good shape, and um, yeah, I've, been, I've just been doing my thing behind the scenes, learning, improving, and um, I'll show that when I'm back. I'm, I'm guessing your brother's looking to give your mum a, a, an nice seed present this weekend. Yeah, 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 for sure, for sure. Um, we'll be travelling back <laughs> at the same time, but so, um, but it'd be good. You know, he gets a chance to shine in front of a big crowd on a big stage, and um, yeah. You'll see, you'll see some big things from Galal in the future, I'm sure. You guys get back in time for Reed? Um, it depends. It depends. You know how it goes. It depends. But we'll, we'll, we'll celebrate on um, another Sunday or Monday. Sweet, man. Last question. Tyson Fury, what did you make of his fight at the weekend? Yeah, yeah. Brilliant brilliant performance. Um, done what he needed to do. Um, yeah. World's his oyster. Has anybody beat Tyson Fury in this era? I'm not too sure. I'm not too sure. Um, the biggest threat is going to be Yusuf or Joshua. So yeah. he has to. I don't think he's. I don't think he's going to retire. Um, I think he's going to fight the winner out of Joshua and Yusuf. I think that's the only fight for him, really. Yes, we hope so, man. I hope the same as you. So thank you for your time, Cal, and look forward to seeing the ring soon. Anytime, man. I'll see you soon in Sheffield. <laughs>